Hi guys, Glenn VK4MGA here. I just wanted to uh, talk to you this morning about um, hotspots and how to keep it simple. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so if you're running one of these, it'll, uh, hang on, I'll just turn this radio down. I've got the uh, I've got some nets running on uh, the quad net at the moment. So net running there, I think. Alright, excellent. Okay, so we got yep. okay. So we'll just kill that. So if you're running one of these, we got a little MMD VM on a Pi Zero. Here's what they look like inside. There's a fair bit of information on uh, on these on my um, other uh, videos. That's running the um, you see the BI Seven JTA modem which are the ones that I built for other hams uh, great great little hotspot okay so if you're running one of these uh, and you want to do more than one mode well my advice is to keep it simple because really these things will do multi modes so you can have all the modes switched on in the uh, configuration and to my way of thinking, that's probably not the best way to do it. So I'll just show you on the um, on the dashboard. I'll just get it up on the screen. So we'll have a look at the configuration. Just log in. I know you can't see this, but that's okay. Should have been a little bit more prepared, shouldn't I? So the dashboard running there. So here's the config. So here's what I'm talking about. You can uh, switch on DMR, DSTAR, YSF, P25, NXDN, and so on, cross modes. Now you notice this one's only running in DMR. This one's running on Brandmeister. I'll just uh, get across to the um, to the admin page. So while I was doing that, um, this is my setup. So I'm running two hotspots. They couldn't get any closer together, could they? A lot of people say it can't be done. Well, that's not correct. One on the left is on uh, DMR Brandmeister, and the one on the right is currently on DSTAR. One on the left is on uh, 439.125. Decimal uh, The one on the left, 439.125. One on the right, 439, 150, so only 25 kilohertz apart. The trick is to drop the RF power output down in, you get to go into expert mode and do that. Um, if you're not sure how to do that, um, shoot me a message on this um, video and I'll uh, get back to you as soon as I can and give you some instructions on that. So I have a third hotspot out of shot, which is just up here, the open spot. That's running on 439.175 and that's running on uh, DMR Plus or DMR Mark, the VK DMR network. Now, when it's busy, which it isn't now, when it's busy, all three are running, no interference, no problems. As long as you drop the power output down, these are very happy running together. So, I maintain, initially I put one, I built this one on the on the left, a silver one, I built that. And I tried to run multi-modes on it and it was just really difficult because I had all sorts of problems with, uh, I'd have a QSO on say D-Star and then, uh, you know, I'd leave a reasonable break between overs or there'd be a decent break between an over, then DMR would come alive and it would rob my uh, QSO. So I thought there's got to be a better way. And there certainly is. So this is the way I do it. Um, I've had four hotspots running in the shack at um, at one time, and uh, no problem, no problem with them. Twenty five kilohertz apart. <coughs> so here's the uh, dashboard. Um, you can see here the frequency. This is the silver one, four thirty nine one twenty five, and uh, we're on talk group ninety one on Brandmeister 
then it's all lit up very nicely, runs well, no problem. As soon as you, sorry, back here, as soon as you engage, uh, if you run two DMR um, radios and two DMR networks, say you're running Brandmeister, and um, you're also running um, DMR Plus, then the problem with running the DMR gateway is Brandmeister works fine, but DMR Plus works on reflectors. And that involves a reasonable amount of complex programming. And if you're reasonably new to this, <coughs> pardon me, um, you will find it tricky. Uh, it also adds a different dimension to your radio code plug. Uh, it means that you key up on the reflector and then you've got to switch back to talk group 9 on your radio to, um, to transmit and receive, which is a real pain in the neck. So my advice, uh, based on my uh, humble knowledge of running these, is to don't switch on DMR Gateway, uh, build yourself another hotspot and uh, run it in the shack. Now, here's the radios here. Well, the radios are under there actually. So I'll show you the distance from the radios to the hotspot. Hotspots, there they are, less than a metre away. Now, if you look at the back, if you can see at the back there, the square aluminium box, that's a, um, that's a dummy load. So the radio uh, further away, the one on the right, that's the ID4100, it's running under a dummy load, 5 watts. One on the left, the CS800D, is running... Um, uh, 10 watts on low power into the hotspots and that's running on an external antenna. So just a dual band 270 diamond. So no problem with uh, running uh, multiple hotspots. This gadget here is um, is a thing that I uh, built. It's a Pi 3B Plus and that runs um, terminal mode as well. But there's another video on that as well if you want to check that out. So no problem running um, multiple hotspots and uh, here we go uh, she's active so we'll have a listen there I was um, checking it out it, it, if it works on the repeater uh, so that's on uh, DMA plus uh, so yeah I just uh, I run multiple dashboards um, on the laptop here so keep an eye on things, so that's uh, the silver hotspot, that's the black one, and that one there is the terminal mode 3B+, plus. that one there. So, oh, and of course not forgetting the trusty old open spot, which works great. So I also run the dashboards close closer than that so I don't have to swing around and hurt my neck I uh, run the dashboards on tabs on a um, old Samsung tablet so I can keep an eye on this touch screen so I can keep an eye on the dashboards and who's coming in and uh, just adds another dimension to your uh, your um, digital voice experience but yeah these are you know like you can build these cheap I'll put I'll put the link uh, I'll put the link into um, the comments about that um, particular board. Um, if you want the uh, the OLED soldered on, you've just got to let Winters know. Uh, Winters, who runs um, BI7JTA uh, Amateur Radio Toys website, where you can buy the boards. The boards are pretty cheap. You buy them in US dollars. So uh, in Australia. Uh, they, I think they're about, they alternate between about 35 and 44 US dollars, 44 US dollars with the screen. So uh, they're reasonably well priced, no soldering involved, just um, press the uh, the modem board onto the Pi Zero and away you go. But yeah, I really encourage you to, um, to set your shack up this way, because it's just much simpler, it's much more versatile, you can switch hotspots to uh, different modes. I had the black one running on uh, YSF for a while with the 991 uh, on C4FM.
but I do have a local node so um, I access that more than I do the hotspot so currently uh, this uh, black hotspot at the, on the right is running D-Star for the first time but yeah no interference with these uh, there's a longer shot with the open spot you can see the distance between them not far away if I put the open spot down there beside the uh, <coughs> the the uh, MMDVMs they, uh, the open spot does cop a bit of interference so the open spot has a very wide receiver on it uh, which is great but um, when you put them together they're not that happy so I had to separate him because he was being a naughty boy so hopefully that helps you. Uh, the whole idea of this video is to show you that you can keep it simple. Sure, you'll spend a bit more money. You know, you're going to build or buy a couple more um, hotspots, but um, I find running the uh, the three uh, hotspots works extremely well. It gives me great versatility. I can listen to uh, multiple modes. Um, I can listen on the uh, on the uh, handhelds there, so the red of us, um, I can listen to um, say uh, talk group 91 on that and then on the uh, 800D uh, I could be listening to uh, DMR plus the VK DMR network which I'm on a lot and then uh, on the 4100 uh, I can be listening to um, whatever uh, reflector I want to at the time so it gives you a lot of versatility in that um, you can be listening to multiple modes at the same time and um, I started out with the 4100 and then I bought the uh, the GD77 the one on the right and then I bought the uh, CS800D because uh, I uh, wanted to set up a complete home station for digital and although I do have a HF radio I don't really uh, use the HF side of the radio uh, because the HF bands are around uh, pretty quiet. So that's the way to do it guys. Um, no interference problems. There's a lot of uh, misinformation on the groups and forums saying, oh no, you can't do it. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's a bunch of uh, problems associated with, you know, intermodulation and, you know, all this sort of stuff. But no, nah, that's not true. Uh, I've been running this system for uh, over 12 months now. And uh, it works a treat. So... Um, <coughs> there you go. So uh, just recapping. So um, the um, so that's running the uh, the silver one. It's running on Talk Group ninety one right now. The black one is on D Star, and uh, the open spot, as you can see there, is um, running on DMR plus. So that's why I do it. Works really well. And I want to encourage you uh, not to get into uh, a whole lot of stuff in the config of these um, hotspots where people give you advice to go into expert mode and change, um, you know, TG rewrites and um, all sorts of expert related settings because honestly that's very confusing and if you're fairly new to it, um, you're still learning how to build your code plugin to configure your hotspot. The last thing you need to do is uh, have someone say to you, oh, I just go into expert mode and, uh, and do this and that and the other because believe me, that's super confusing and um, I, my, uh, my old um, uh, thoughts are just keep it simple keep it really simple and uh, it'll work really well for you okay, so hopefully that's helped you out guys thanks for watching and uh, 73s, this is VK4NGA